All right, joining me now on the phone is Glenn Greenwald, columnist on civil liberties and U.S. national security issues for The Guardian newspaper. Glenn, of course, broke the Edward Snowden story in The Guardian, spent a lot of time with him in Hong Kong, interviewed him. Um, Glenn, I guess I want to get first your reaction to the news today, which I don't think is surprising given, uh, given what Edward Snowden has admitted to doing and also the way this administration has gone after leakers. What is your reaction to hearing the news? Well, I think it's not surprising for the second thing, reason, which is um, the Obama administration's record. I think it's very surprising to accuse somebody of espionage who hasn't worked for a foreign government, who didn't covertly pass information to an adversary enemy of the United States, who didn't sell any top secret information, who simply went to newspapers, asked newspapers to very carefully vet the information to make sure that the only thing being published are things that inform his fellow citizens but doesn't harm national security. That is not espionage in any real sense of the word. This is a 1917 statute enacted under Woodrow Wilson to criminalize uh, opposition to World War I. Um, it has been used very, very sparingly throughout American history until the Obama administration, which has embraced it with an extreme vigor as a means of punishing and prosecuting whistleblowers. And so in that regard, I think it's unsurprising. Well, let, let me just, we should just say that the, one of the, the complaints is theft of government property. Um, the specific language in the complaint is theft of government property, unauthorized communication of national defense information, Willful communication of classified communications intelligence information to an author, unauthorized par, uh, person, and the section of the U.S. Code that last one comes in is from the 1917 Espionage Act, which I will editorialize is a pretty terrible piece of legislation. My question to you, though, Glenn, here is, um, doesn't the government have to do something? I mean, someone who worked for the government and inside the government skips out with a thousand classified documents. This is a fairly big breach, even if you think. As I, quite frankly, do, the net benefit has been huge. It has precipitated a really needed debate um, that just from a basic institutional sense, there has to be some recriminations or accountability or calling to account or some formal process through which someone who does something that so blatantly violates the basic norms of the institution as what Edward Snowden himself has admitted doing. So I would say two things about that, Chris. First of all, I don't think you'll find very many people who argue that he should not be charged with any sort of uh, a criminal offense. Um, I think when he did what he set out to do, that he understood that it was in violation of the law. He felt like it was a noble act mm -hmm. um, justified under basic theories of civil disobedience um, and that he expected to be charged with a crime. I don't think anybody uh, is, is objecting to that. I think the issue is, is that the extreme zealousness, the overcharging, um, that the Obama administration has specialized in when it comes to whistleblowers is the issue. The fact that he's 29 years old and will be threatened with life in prison the way that Bradley Manning was, the way that prior NSA whistleblower Thomas Drake is, the, the extreme excess um, that really reflects this sort of vindictive mentality on the part of the administration with regard to anyone who brings transparency to them. And the other thing that I think is extremely disturbing is if this administration were Equ equitable and consistent in trying to punish people who leak classified information, you could look at this act and say, well, I think it's excessive, but at least it's consistent. All sorts of high-level Obama right. administration officials have continuously leaked top secret and classified information in order to benefit the administration, to politically glorify the Obama administration. None of them has been charged or indicted. Although, and so what you have here is a misuse, a manipulation of these laws, not to protect classified information, right. but to punish people who leak in a way that embarrasses high-level political officials, and that's what I think makes it so pernicious. Yeah, and that, I mean, I think that's a very important point, although I should also note the Stuxnet leaks, which is, of course, the uh, cy offensive cyber warfare operation the U.S. conducted against Iran that was written up in the New York Times and, and quoted uh, what appears to be senior administration officials talking about classified. There is a Department of Justice investigation on that. So it is possible that we see down the road um, some uh, stuff come out of that that would, that would perhaps even the scales in that regard. Glenn Greenwald from The Guardian newspaper, thank you so much for joining us tonight. Really.